What up, world? Welcome to another episode of RMT. That's Real Man Talk. It's your boy, Stan the Man, coming to you with another great conversation piece on today. And before we even get started, I want to thank everyone for tuning in and welcome you to RMT. So with, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this subject. Today, we want to talk about fear. Yes, fear. But I think everyone, every individual that's ever walked this earth has experienced fear. Everyone. They have experienced this level of fear, but they realize that it's not something that we should run away from, but it's something that we should embrace and learn more about. And so with embracing, are you embracing the things that you are afraid of? And a lot of people break down fear is false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. And we take that and we think that it's real to us because we put into our mind the thing that we fear is the thing that's going on that's really in front of this reality. We think the things that we fear are reality and it's not. A lot of times we make it up in our mind and once we get it inside our mind, then it becomes a reality in our life and we think that it's something. It's kind of like um, doing virtual and we just like if you go into the metaverse, you go into the metaverse and the things that you see, you might hear and you might experience, You your brain is tricked to make it seem like it's real. But you actually not doing those things. It's just in your brain. So your brain, your eyes and everything and what you hear, it look like it's real, but it's actually not. And we do that in reality. In reality, we take and we want to create this imaginary world of things that's not real. What are you really running away from that's keeping you from going to the next level? We sit back and we want to blame everybody and everything else instead of looking inside of us to really search our soul to see what we really are afraid of. Some things we fear from our childhood. It might have been an abusive father, abusive mother, not necessarily physically, but it could be verbal. It could be someone insecurities that we had when we was younger, insecurities we had when we was growing up bad relationships that we had some of us even might have been touched inappropriately by someone that we loved and we cared about so now that we older we fear being in relationships we fear that we are not enough to be able to take the next step to become something that we never became before and it's tough when you have to actually look in the mirror and face those fears and understand that if you don't overcome this, you can never become what you really want to become. You can never be as successful. You cannot, you won't be as successful as you want to be. You might could be successful, but it might be something that's holding you back. It might be something that people can say that can trigger you. And so since they can trigger you with the thing that you fear, um, that'll be an obstacle that's in your way of stopping you from getting somewhere. And people can bring that up and use that to be a manipulative tool. And they can also use that to try to control you because they know you're afraid of it. I remember, um, I'm going to tell this story and I'm not going to say their name, but I remember we went to a water park together and it, and it was a slide that we wanted to go down. And the guy, we climbed up probably, you know, when you go to these water parks, it's, you got these flights of stairs. You maybe have 15, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but you might, might have 15 to 20 flights of stairs that you have to actually climb before you get to the actual water slide that you need to go down. And so the whole time we was in line, it was summertime, there was a lot of people there and we was climbing and we was going up. So once we got to the top of the water slide, the other individual that I was with decided to go back down after he looked down and saw how deep it was and how steep and how fast the ride was going, how fast the slide was going. He decided not to go down. He decided that he didn't want to do it. He turned around. So I had a decision after climbing all those flights of stairs, 
waiting in line in the heat and getting up there to the top, I had a decision. I could have walked down with them. And I decided not to, even though I, it looked scary to me, too. Was I a little afraid in the inside? Yes, absolutely I was. But what I did, I just decided to go. I just decided to go ahead and go down and do it. Go on down the slide. So I got on. You know, they had a lifeguard at the top and at the bottom. So at the bottom, the lifeguard down at the bottom gave him the signal, gave him the thumbs up that the next person was up and that was me. So I positioned myself. He told me what to do, cross my arm, cross my feet, and um, he was going to push me to the edge so I can go on down. So I laid down, crossed my hand, crossed my arms. Even though I was afraid, I was like, you know, since I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I went down. I went on, went down. And we, and we, and sometimes we would get to the point that other people that uh, traveled all the way to a certain point in our life, we afraid to leave them. They can turn around, go back to doing what they was doing. They can turn around, start being the person that they used to be. They can turn around and just lose motivation and discipline to the exact thing that y'all are working towards. But you at that point now, well, you can turn around with them. You can turn right around with them and you don't have to think about it no more. But you can move forward. And with me moving forward, did I lose them as a person? No, I didn't lose them on that slide as a person, but I knew that's something that I had to do for myself. And there's a lot of things in our life that we have to do for ourselves. Other people can't come with us and we're afraid to do it by ourselves because we have that fear of what people going to think, how they going to feel. They still going to be cool with me after I do this. How people going to look if I post this? How people going to how, how people going to um, how are people going to react to the video that I post or how I feel about a certain situation or how I think about a certain situation? What if I post that? But you in fear of other people. But I'll tell you this. Some things you just going to have to do alone. Going to have to do by yourself. Because I tell you one thing that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to think for yourself. Can't nobody go inside of your mind, inside of your brain, and trigger and pull that fear out except for you. Only person that can face your fears is the person in the mirror. You are the only person that can face your fears. Ain't nobody else face your fears for you. That's why they belong to you. And it's up to you to face them. Is it hard to do it? Yeah, it's hard sometimes. It's hard. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it wrong. It's hard sometimes. And it might take a little time for you to face certain things. And you might have to go get some help. You might have to go sit on somebody's couch, get some therapy. You know, you might have to go work through and face a different situation in order to overcome that fear that you have of a situation. You might have to go talk or confront that person about this situation that happened between y'all. But you're going to have to figure out a way to let it go. And I only let it go to work through it to get to a better spot for you. And um, one thing I think all of us face fear. I think all of us face fear. And I think that's something that you know, most of us have in common. It's just that a lot of people, even though they are afraid to do things, they still going through. They still go and do it. They still face what they need to face, even in the face in the even when it's adversity, even when it's uncomfortable, even when it's not a favorable situation for them, they still face it. Even me getting in front of this camera, doing this podcast, I had fear of what people think, I had fear of what people say, I had fear of what if I can't do this. 
you know, I, I just want to have some fun. And what if I really can't do this? But what if I can? And somebody out there that's afraid to get behind the camera, somebody that's afraid to pick up their phone and record themselves, they can look at this and they can say, hey, if Stan can do it, I can do it. If this guy on YouTube can do it, I can do it. If this guy I'm listening to on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, if I'm if he can do it, I can do it too. So I just appreciate y'all for tuning in. I just want to touch a little bit on that fear today. And um I appreciate everybody. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Real Men Talk Podcast. Even here on YouTube, Real Men Talk Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. And if it's anything, anything that you want to hear me speak on, on um, Real Men Talk, just let me know. You can hit me on my inbox and let me know. Also, if there's anyone that you want to have come on to the show that you think would be a good fit, just let me know. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.